Uh, yeah, problem. Big problem. So Yuri here. Probably should have looked at the Yggdrasil item because I think those heal like all of my HP. Keep piling on the damage, Yuri. Well, these two heal. Actually, healing yourself would have been the best thing to do, but too late. Black Surge effect wore off. Sucks to be you. Yeah, Talisman of Luck here. I stopped myself going for the perfect. It wasn't worth it. I only gave you 100 HP. It's insane. Ooh, this heals targets HP. We can have Yuri help with healing, since I'm in mad bull form. Uh, I'm gonna have you Blessed Light just to get some damage, especially because Yuri healed. I feel like this is a good trade off. Alright, it does a lot less than it did on Albert Simon. Oh, you, you, you will use physical attacks. So I could have used the shield, but too late. Margaret, I need to give you SP. Give you 10, that should be enough. You also need SP as well, Yuri. Oh, dang it! I got really ahead of myself there because I got two perfects. I know, heal first. Yuri still has like another turn. I think the hardest thing about this fight is SP management. Because Roger Bacon will always just bring, or Albert Simon, he'll always just bring your SP to low and you have to kind of like work around that or just heal it accordingly. That makes this fight a little bit tricky. You should give Alice some SP. Margaret has not attacked in so long. I might have Alice give SP to Yuri so Margaret can use Snipe. Because I think Snipe will do more than Blessed Light. Yeah, yeah, have you give Yuri SP. I think the Pure Extract is worth it here. Yuri almost never runs out of SP. See how much this does. Yeah, I can use some help here. Snake. Uh, yeah, go back to attacking. I feel like at this point, <laughs> just stick to the fusion I'm at. You should be getting pretty low, probably. And you're gonna heal your. I feel like Holy Edge at this point is not worth it. Ow. So I was wrong. Snipe didn't do enough. <laughs> it didn't do as much as I expected, so I mean... Good to do for extra damage, but not that great. Yeah, I could use some help here. Gun! You're still kicking. Alright, I think Disembody is fine here. 
give me another fusion on your next turn. Demon rays. Where have I seen that before? Three three three. Can't even be that upset. To be honest. Keep attacking so Alice can heal. So close. Yeah, I can use some help here. Um, Icarus is my best bet. I don't think Karen will work well here. <laughs> Charin, Karin, however you say it. Do Gale, Palm, Lightning, just just normal attack. We do Lightning next turn, and you obviously heal Margaret here. I'm always trying to go for the perfect, but I get really nervous that I'll miss it, so I just panic. Press X button. Man, you have a lot of HP, Ammon. Like a whole lot? Got a snipe. Yeah, I could use some help here. I could use lots of help. <laughs> Ammon is still kicking. You can use lots of help. Only my other party members were here right now to help with the HP pool. How cool would it be if they had like a Breath of Fire 4S battle system where they contribute in some way? Arbor needs it more. Even though Alice is the healer and she's dying. I don't think we don't have resurrection items though. Yeah, I was afraid that that happened. What are you really supposed to do, though? I think now would be a great time for this. Because Alice's SP is really low. Excuse me. Ammon, thank you. That was a long fight, and it was technically still the same fight as Albert Simon. Hey, level ups all around. You got Ark? And a bazooka? What the heck? You guys are popping off. Alice for everything. The soul of Ammon's mine. So if you don't get the destruction stone, you don't get the soul of Ammon. Which I don't think I got in my original playthrough because you have to get all those chests. And that doesn't sound like something I would have done. No, the soul contract I cannot lose. Ugh, it's over. It's all over now. You're overconfident. It is I who will end it. Haven't you noticed? All the power generated by our battle has been transferred to the float. What? <laughs> Soon the float will appear. You cannot stop it now. I have won. I have won. Wait. Oh, cutscene?
Ergo. Behold the fruits of your folly. This light, this storm, now is the end of the world! Oh, glorious throne of the Lord on high, Miyamato. This is indeed the signpost to a new tomorrow. The medium by which God shall bestow a new future on a world despoiled by human corruption. Oh God, at last the time has come. From the distant reaches of the universe and time, descend now upon this earth. <sighs> thousands upon thousands before me have tried, but failed. But I am the one who will finally achieve it! Oh, this is voice acting. It's so 2001. Seven days from now, God shall descend to Earth. You can wave your fists all you want. It will change absolutely nothing! That was quick. How's she doing? She's resting in London Rat's hideout. She's in better shape than I thought. I'm glad to hear that, but... Well, our trouble's just starting, I'm afraid. Hey, Raj. What is that big castle-looking thing anyway? It's a final dungeon if I ever saw one. It's one of the legacies left behind by beings who visited this planet long ago. It's Neum. When you say one of the legacies, do you mean there are still some out others out there? Oh, definitely. About a hundred of them, I guess. That many? All that remains is ruins, but there was a person in the past who tried to revive them several times. It's just like the renowned Tower of Babel. It's not something that can easily be controlled by humans. That Albert guy, he said the gods would fly from the depths of the sky, but what is that Neum machine? It was he who said that Neum means float in the ancient tongue of Ebi, Ebi. You know what a float is? It's the thing that bobs when the fish bites when you're fishing. Once the float goes up, God will home in, home in on it from the M72 nebula, some 4,800,000 light years away. You mean God lives that far away? That doesn't sound right somehow. Calling it God is something humans dreamed up themselves. More precisely, it's an alien organism. So God's an alien, huh? I always thought he sits on this leaf with his hands like this. That's Buddha. Listen, if you saw a human with the eyes of an ant, they would seem overwhelmingly huge, right? You wouldn't want to fight them, would you? Ants may not understand it, but humans could almost be their god figure for them. So are you saying that this, that to this organism from space, we're the same, just like ants? That's correct. So I'm an ant, huh? Why does that hurt you so? Something, to overwhelm something too overwhelmingly powerful for humans to deal with is, th is coming to the planet. I suppose if that happens, Earth and everything on it will be wiped out. What's wrong? Well, that's what we gotta fight, right? What? You really intend to fight it? 
I mean, he gave us seven days. Albert Simon was generous to give us a full week. Isn't there any way to stop it? Is Albert really going to bring about the destruction of the world? There is a way. We've got to destroy the float inside Neon before God homes in on it. On it. Can it really be done? But it's floating in space. <laughs> and that's when the instantaneous matter transporter will come into play. Go and start that generator for me. Huh? This is a generator? How do I start it? Get on top of it and run! Oh, one of these. Run, I said! Run! I'm not getting enough power! Why do I have to do this? Whoa! Spin ring three! It makes sense you would do the ring here. Nice. Good, now we're moving. Alright, here we go. Oh, he's gone. What's up, Roger? I'm back! Did you see that? You saw what my teleporter is capable of, right? You can go anywhere using my teleporter. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, but didn't you almost get killed there? His <laughs> run. Also, this funky music. What's wrong with you? You're imagining things. It may still need a slight adjustment, but this is like, this music is like foreshadowing from the new world. This would fit in from the new world so well. Pretty great, huh? If you set the target to Neum's specific coordinates, it lights up. There must be another way. We... We were looking for a way to do this, and we found it. Let's let's not get greedy here, Alice. There is none. Well, okay then. <laughs> Come on, it doesn't matter if we go up in this machine or if God comes to the end of the world. So why don't we just let fate decide? You really don't trust me, huh? I can't believe it. You speak that way about my greatest invention. No, I didn't mean anything. Yeah, that's right, Raj. We love your machines to so take us to the stars. Neum, here we come. Not after all these side quests. Trust me, I'll make sure to get you there safely. I promise. Promise. Since we've made our decision, I'll get ready. Please get ready for departure too, everyone. Should we go back to the hideout too? I believe the good ending is also... We have to do it now if we want the good ending. So this is where we're going to leave that open save available for that good ending. Because this is like, hey, if you do all the masks and do the graveyard stuff, you're locked into the good ending. Like, I think once we go talk to... After we talk to Hallie and Kudelka, and then after that we go to Bacon, that will lock us into our ending. So, with that being said... We're safe for real. And I will also just leave a save state here. Just in case. Yeah. Take me to London. After welcome, also Prunky. <laughs> Roger looks like a skeleton in the portrait. He kind of does, doesn't he? Welcome to stream, Prunky as well. Heal me. We talk to Hallie and Kudelka at the orphanage. It's not here, it's over this way. Bum, bum, bum. Hello. Would you like to change party members? I probably will. Keith and Alice. Oh, wait, no, this is the arena. We're gonna do this, though. It's one of the side quests we have to do. 